Welcome back. In this video, we'll be setting up the Redmi Note 14. So for me, I'm using Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus, but this simply applies on other Redmi Note 14 phones. So all you have to do is simply power on the phone. So to power on your phone, simply locate the power button. Here it is. It's on the right side of the phone. So locate it and press and hold to power it on. So press and hold. There you go. Once you see the menu, all you have to do is simply release the power button and allow it to proceed. So give it a few seconds. Now once you power on the phone, you'll get to this page. So all you have to do is simply tap on the arrow to proceed. And then you get to this option, you'll be told to choose a language. So there are a couple of languages from here, there's English and all the other languages that you like to choose from. So for me, I'll just leave it at English. So I'll just select it and then tap on this arrow down, on this arrow at the bottom right corner of the screen. And from here, you'll have to choose your region. So you can simply scroll through the regions and find your region or you can simply tap on the search icon or the search bar and type in your region. So just type in your region and tap on it to select it. Now once you have selected your region, all you have to do is simply tap on the arrow at the bottom right corner to proceed. Then give it a few seconds and then you'll get to this terms and conditions page. So all you have to do is simply tap on this. I have read and agreed to the user agreement and privacy policy and then tap on the arrow at the bottom right to proceed and then now you should get to this page setting up using other device so in case you have another device that you'd like to set up with you can simply choose it from here be it your android or your iphone you can choose it from here and follow the process that appears for now we'll just keep this option and then we continue so we'll get to this page to insert a SIM card. So if you have a SIM card, you can simply insert it. But for now, we are just setting up the phone. So all you have to do is simply tap on this arrow to proceed. And then from here, you have to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So all you have to do is give it a few seconds for it to scan for all the available Wi-Fi networks. Once you find the Wi-Fi network, simply tap on it. And then you have to type in the password for that particular network. Once you type in the password, simply tap on connect then give it a few seconds for it to connect to your Wi-Fi network. There you go. You should see this option connected. So that means you have been connected to the Wi-Fi. So simply tap on the arrow at the bottom right corner to continue. And then give it a few seconds for it to set up your device. Now from here, you'll be prompted to sign in to your Google account. So if you have a Google account, simply type in your Google account here and tap on next and type in your password to successfully sign in to your account. So for me, I'll just skip it. So we'll just tap on skip and then you should see these notifications, skip account setup. Yes, so I'll just keep it for now. Then give it a few seconds. So you'll see what the Google service it's all about. So it uses location, allows scanning, allow phone number verification, and all the other all the other options. So all you have to do is simply scroll down and select next, or rather accept at the bottom right corner. And then now you'll be prompted to set up a screen lock. So you can choose to set it up here, or you can choose to set it up later. But for now, we'll just choose to set it up later. So I'll just tap on skip. And then you can just review additional apps that will be downloaded when you're connected on the Wi-Fi. And then simply tap on OK. And give it a few seconds for it to set up your device. You'll see this page, the basic settings, whereby you can see the send usage and diagnostic data. 
or rather automatic system updates and all the other options that are currently available. So you can choose to turn off these options if you want or you can just simply leave them like that. So for me, I'll just leave them like that. And then I'll just tap on the arrow at the bottom right corner to proceed. And then here you'll be prompted to choose a font for your device. So you can choose either default or Miss Sans, which is recommended. So you can either choose one of the two. So I'll just leave it at default and then tap on the arrow to proceed. Now you'll be prompted to set up your lock screen. So if you want a wallpaper carousel, you can choose to agree. Or if you don't want this to, to appear on your lock screen, you can simply tap on skip. So I'll just skip it. And then you have to choose the launcher. So you can either choose the classic launcher, which shows you all the applications on your home screen. Or you can choose the app drawer, which shows you some application on the home screen and others on the app drawer. So choose the one that you prefer. So I'll just select classic and tap on the arrow at the bottom right corner. And then you should see a list of recommended apps. So you can either choose to select them or to, to if you want to select them, you can simply select it. As you can see, all of them have been selected. So you can choose to select all if you want to install all of them. Or you can simply uncheck all the applications if you want. So I'll just uncheck them all and simply tap on install. And then give it a few seconds for you to finalize the setup process. And there you go, setup complete. So once you've done, simply tap on the arrow and your device will be success. You have successfully set up your device. So as you can see, now you're on the home page and everything. So that's basically it on how to set up this Redmi Note 14 or Note 14 Pro Plus. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel.